The theme of UNIA 2 focused on delivering the environmental dimension of Sustainable Development Goals SDGs adopted by UN member states in September last year. The 25 resolutions adopted at the Global Environment Assembly compelled government's private sector and civil society actors to strengthen partnership in order to re-energize the green agenda. Delegates agreed that nation states should establish innovative measures to combat the emerging environmental threats including ocean pollution, poaching and air pollution. Illegal trade in wildlife was a key issue at UNEA 2, which is pushing species to the brink of extinction, robbing countries of their natural heritage and profiting international criminal networks. UNEA 2 passed a resolution building upon previous commitments made at the first UNEA and General Assembly resolution urging member states to take further steps at the national level and through regional and international cooperation to prevent combat and eradicate the supply, transit and demand related to the illegal trade in wildlife and wildlife products. Kenya demonstrated this when it destroyed its ivory stockpile, sending a message to the world that will not tolerate the illegal trade in wildlife that has decimated its elephant population. President Rukinyata at the UNEA meeting urged the world to back the country's call for a total ban on illegal ivory trade. We'll be seeking a total ban on the trade in ivory, and we hope that you can stand with us as we seek to take this critical step to preserve the animals that contribute so much to our ecosystems and way of life. We also want to see a total ban on the use of, uh, of ivory. So the fight continues. So the next step for us is to get to CITES. And it's at CITES in September and October where we have a number of proposals, we'll see how these are responded to or supported by other countries. The resolutions also paid special attention to marine litter and debris in the oceans, harming both the marine environment and biodiversity. A big part also in terms of three different decisions dealing with um, ocean and marine related aspects, uh, one on oceans, one on coral reefs, and also one on microplastics or marine debris. And um, we believe that this is also an important moment in which UNEA is paying a heightened sense of attention to the issue of um, oceans and, and marine ecosystems. Several resolutions related to human health and the environment were also passed. Between a healthy environment and healthy people has been taking center stage through different perspectives here, whether it is on air quality and pollution, you saw in your report by UNEP being presented this week that is a review of air quality and air pollution uh, activities being undertaken across the world, 193 nations. I think together with our sister agency, WHO, we have made a clarion call already over the last two years, and particularly at our assemblies in Geneva this week on health, in Nairobi and environment, with our respective ministers, that this issue needs far greater attention in every country and across virtually every sector. UNEA 2 is the second to take place in Nairobi, with the inaugural event taking place in 2014 and the next scheduled for 2018. Brenda Kiprono reporting for the Lunchtime News.